<laughs> Our next guest writes historical and contemporary romance novels and is the published author of more than 60 novels, most of which have appeared on the USA Today and New York Times bestseller list. And she'll share her stories and writing expertise this weekend at the Festival of the Written Word in Chesterfield. We welcome Lorraine Heath back to Virginia this morning. Good to see you again. It's good to see you. Welcome back. When I was rereading your bio, because you've been here with us before, the fact that you've written 60 novels, over 60 novels, is overwhelming. Is that overwhelming to you? It, it is if I stop and think about it too much, um, but I just take each book as it comes mm -hmm. and each scene as it comes, and so it just kind of progresses from there. And the interesting thing, too, is that you write under your name and then three other pen names, and each of those pen names has kind of a different focus. Does that help you kind of get into different personalities to write? It does. Um, the other pen names that I write under are young adult novels, mm -hmm. and I write them in first person. And so uh, the historicals are written in third person. And so when I switch to a first person, it kind of helps me go into a, a young adult voice. Mm -hmm. And then when I'm back ready to write an adult novel, I go back into third person. And so. And did I read as well that you write with your son for some of I these do. books? I do. I uh, do. My son and I write, uh, wrote a uh, dystopian. Uh, vampire series together. <laughs> that must have been fun. <laughs> it was. <laughs> and, and you said you always wanted to write from the time you were very little. What was it in you that, that made you want to be a writer? I, I just enjoyed the process of storytelling, of, uh, you know, having, uh, being able to share stories and I would always make up stories. A lot of my friends were imaginary friends and so I just kind of wanted to put them someplace permanent. And so writing allowed me to kind of do that. Now, you started your career as a technical writer and then realized that really didn't tap into the creativity that you wanted. <laughs> That's correct, yes. And so uh, I really, once I started writing creativi creatively, it really uh, just opened up a whole nother world for me. Now, I love the fact that you share a, a dual citizenship. You're American and British. And that kind of helps you write some of your historical novels because you're tapping into both of your histories. I am, and I uh, started out writing westerns, and then I moved my setting to uh, England. And um, I enjoy both aspects of my uh, background, and a, a lot of times in my books I will mix them, like I'll bring American heiresses to England, or I'll take my English lords to Texas, and so it just makes it a little more interesting for me. It does. Now, the new, count, the new book is called The Viscount and the Vixen, yes. and this is part of a series, right? It is. It's the uh, third book in a trilogy, mm -hmm. and uh, this is my uh, hero. Uh, his father is um, considered to be mad. He lost his, when he lost his wife, he um, went a little mad and he thinks she's still out haunting the moors and so my hero is determined never to fall in love because he has seen that love begets madness. Again, another wonderful sweeping historical novel. And on the cover of the book I noticed the name of one of our favorite authors who tends to stop yes. by, Kathy Maxwell. <laughs> yes, she was kind enough to give me a quote for the book. Very nice. Now you're here in town for a couple of things. Now tonight you're going to be uh, at the Romance Yarn Reading Salon. What's going on there tonight? Uh, there's going to be uh, three authors joining me, and we're going to each read a selection from our novels, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, just let the readers enjoy them, and just have a very um, uh, informal kind of get together, and uh, just talk about books. And this is kind of a treat because the new book hasn't come out yet. It hasn't. Oh, no, it yeah. won't come out until the end of November. <laughs> so this is a nice little sneak preview. Yes. <laughs> and then um, coming up tomorrow, you're going to be at the Festival of the Written Word, where I think I believe 18 different authors are going to be there. There are, and uh, there's going to be a group of four of us who are going to be on a panel talking about. Uh, how one can uh, have a career as a writer and make a living as a writer. And this is a wonderful opportunity for anyone who say, they say that you've got, everybody's got one book inside of them. And this is a wonderful opportunity to talk to somebody who's had at least 60 books come out of them <laughs> and get some information. Do you like doing things like this? I do. I like uh, meeting with readers and writers because we all have so much in common just uh, from the very basic of what our loves are. And so there's always a something to talk about. 
Well, thank you so much for coming in and talking with us for a little bit this morning. Lorraine Heath, the new book is called The Viscount and the Vixen, and it will come out in about three weeks. You'll have a chance to meet Lorraine tonight at the Romance Yarn Reading Salon in Midlothian at 7 p.m. Then tomorrow, Lorraine is taking part in the Festival of the Written Word from 10 to 3 at the Midlothian Library. We'll put a link to more information on WTBR.com slash VTM.